just got our station ready and she peed up her outfit so that's going to be change and now she's sliding oh buggy we're going to eat right now she's getting angry now we're feeding so here's the setup i've got my legs out with my laptop on there a little tyke is nursing right now i've got her wrapped in her penguin blanket this was libby's actually and then i've got my setup here i got her wiper I've got my treat. I just got at the grocery store chocolate pecan pie. It just sounded really good. And they did not have a fried croissant. That's usually what I'll get if they have them, but they sell out of them so quick and we were kind of late today. Generally, I'd go earlier than this. And I've got my big jug of sweet tea. Oh, we got two of these big giant things at uh, the hospital, St. David's, when I gave birth. And then I've got my tissues there. I've got receipts that need to still be put away. And uh, that's our little station. I'm going to work on editing my next video. Her doctor's appointment went great. She was 10 pounds, four ounces, and that pushed her up quite a bit on her percentiles. He showed me the graphs. I kind of expected her to be 10 pounds because we've been weighing her. <laughs> She's really loud. We've been weighing her on the scale. You know, I just hold her, weigh myself with her, and then weigh myself without her, and then do the math. And she's been always like right under 10 pounds with that. And that's not super exact, but I couldn't believe 10 pounds, four ounces. So she is definitely up from her birth weight of seven pounds, six ounces. And I think it was like the 70 something percentile for weight now. So she's a chunky monkey, which is good. I stopped at McDonald's afterwards and picked up some sweet tea with no ice. I've got some sweet tea in my little jug now with water and ice. And I just water it down, same as before. And I checked and like made sure my caffeine intake wasn't too high. Basically a cup of sweet tea is 15 to 100 milligrams of caffeine, which is not all that much. So it's not too bad. And I have not noticed it affecting her at all. I just started drinking it this past week. She was like three and a half weeks old by the time I tried it and I haven't noticed any sort of difference on her. I read that only 1% of the caffeine gets into your breast milk. So shouldn't be too bad for her at all. And I haven't noticed any difference. So I'm gonna enjoy my sweet tea. I hadn't been drinking it this whole time <laughs> after giving birth and I really missed it. I really missed having something in the water and that's part of why I don't think I was staying as hydrated. Now that I'm back with my sweet tea, I am staying much more hydrated, which is great. I've noticed a big difference. The grocery store went well. I just got some things. I will have that in. I'm hoping to have this video edited for you guys the actual same week and then next week you'll see the grocery haul from actual this week, it's always on a week delay. So then the grocery haul will be for you next week. There you go. I figured out the math, <laughs> I figured out the time frame for that. This little sinker and I are just gonna probably hang out on the couch for the next at least hour or so while she nurses. She'll probably go back to sleep. She wasn't really all that sleepy and she'll probably just sleep on me for this nap so I can sit here and edit and I'm gonna enjoy my pecan pie for a few minutes. Okay, I started my pie. You can see right there it says, chocolate pie slice and it says chocolate chip on the cover there it has literal one chocolate chip on the whole pie i just looked around it and threw it i think that's the solo chocolate chip on this whole pie <laughs> the chocolate pecan pie doesn't cost any extra from the regular but i was really hoping for you know more chocolate than one tiny drop that was an heb fail which is really surprising usually their stuff is top notch <laughs> We're gonna go pick up Big Sis, so I gotta get her changed. I like these. These are the Amazon company diapers. Mama Bear is their brand, so it's got the yellow streak. She clearly needs a diaper change. Look at that little sweet bee. So I changed her into an outfit I picked up at Target this week. I really like the button ups, and most of the hand me downs we got were zips. So we need a few more outfits because we go through them so quick since she's a happy spitter. And so I picked up buttons. I was very excited to get more buttons. 
me. She's going to snooze all the way to pick up Big Sis and maybe all the way home. So I've got to get her changed. I'm going to go potty and then we will head out. So I set up the camera so that I could talk for just a minute. I actually had a big mistake. I ended up doing a load of laundry and I thought I would be able to get away with not doing a load until tomorrow. But I wanted to put her in the baby Catan. And I, oh, see, she just spewed. You okay? You okay? Mm -hmm. That's okay. You just had no speedy. That's okay. She always spits up almost every time I put her in this seat. I went to put her in the baby Catan, got her strapped in. It's okay. It's okay. Look at the rest of it. Okay. She tries to push the rest of it out of her mouth. I got her strapped in and she puked all over me. And it was like actually a big amount because I must have put too much pressure right on her stomach, sticking her in the baby Catan. I felt so bad about it, but I had to wash her outfit. Got on the wrap as well. And it also got on the boppy lounger and it soaked through the actual lounger cover that I picked out for it. And so I had to wash both <laughs> along with along with the wrap and her outfit and all the, you know, the spit up stuff from yesterday and our clothes from yesterday when I had stuck everything. Oh, and she's already closing her eyes in this thing. All right, she is in and now it's time to go. So I totally, it was a mom fail, <laughs> squeezing her stomach just right where she threw up and it was an actual like spit, not just a little, you know, dribble out of her mouth like she just did when the car seat got put on, so her wrapped up really nice and tight because it is down to already 48 degrees and earlier it was 70 so we're we're about to have a major freezy day so get her nice and wrapped up now we are off to go stella is still snoozing and lib is starting to work on some coloring i got her work here she did Hi. is this is this a bead stare huh? is this a bead stare that you did today yes yep okay she did a bead stare here it's helping with numbers and math. It's a hard one. It is a hard one. And then you did some words. Very good, Livy. Yeah, we gotta work on some of these letters here. Very good. You did really good on those challenging works. And then also you did some art. Is this your art from Friday? Yes. Okay, there's her art from Friday. From Tuesday. From, from Tuesday? I thought you said you did art on Friday. Okay, well, this is from Tuesday, apparently. I think it, she does art on Fridays as well. She said she was really excited for Friday because she can do some more art. So you can work on coloring some more of these uh, objects here. So very good. I've got to unload her lunchbox. She bonked her head. She was trying to go around the car seat stroller thing. Oh, very good. She's working on cutting. Very nice. And so I took the ice pack out really quick so she could put it on her head because she bonked the back of her head. But she ate all her lunch, so I've got to go clean that lunch box out. And then I'm going to go color if Stella will still be sleeping. Looks like she will be. You can hear her working on her art, but we ended up hanging up the art wall again. I have a video on how to do this. It's just three M hooks with some ribbon. So there's that wall. And I do have a playroom overhaul, and it's you know, it's messy again, so <laughs> look at this mess over here. You're just working on art so good. So I gave her these and then she can cut them out or do what she wants with them. And sometimes we hang a few of them out, like that one we hung up the other day. And then she's got art over there and then art over there as well. And then I put the happy fall sign here. We don't have a hook on the door, so it's I've just been hanging time, things Mom. here. It is fall time, and there's all of our Halloween stuff that's got to go back in the garage. We still, I think, have a few more towels that need to go in there and some more dress-up things. We've been playing dress-up with all the Halloween stuff. And, uh, yeah, so this is her her domain over here. I do have a video I'm going to be filming, cleaning this up and getting it a little bit better organized. This is the one she was coloring when I got there. So here, Libby, you can finish coloring this one if you want to. I'll take that plate. That was from a snack the other day. That was from a bagel. Oh, you had a bagel? Yep, that's right. I remember that was from Sunday morning breakfast time. And here's the state of the mess. Dinner dishes in there. I'll clean the outside case hand wash and I just set it over there on the towel and then the insert will go in the dishwasher. And then I've got some more biscuits from Sunday morning breakfast right there. We still have all the bread and bagels on the counter. And then this is Halloween candy, so 
we had some of this last night, so we left it out. <laughs> Usually it is up in the pantry over there. So I gotta wipe this out, clean that, and I'm not even gonna touch the dishes because Mama is tired. I feel like I need a nap. <laughs> we were adventuring, so I was just gonna rinse this and then wash the other one. And dinner's ready to pop in the oven. Jenny's been keeping Stella occupied for a couple minutes. And that broccoli's for Libby. And she's ready to eat. So need to clean up the mess she was starting to melt down so i want to get everybody's dinner ready and also refill my jug <laughs> now they're playing something else and here is dinner so there's johnny's there's mine there's libby's her broccoli is fresh and i gave her teriyaki sauce on the side this is stuff for her lunch for tomorrow. She'll have leftovers and so will Johnny. So I put some in here and whatever we don't eat, if we don't finish off our veggies or whatever, they will end up in there as well. So I am going to get the plates on the table and we're gonna eat. Libby, go wash your hands. It's just leftovers, it's just the vodka sauce. And I had a little bit of pepperoni and mozzarella left. So I just added it and it made it kind of like a pizza pasta. And Libby just wanted plain. So hers just has butter on it. And that is from not last night, but the night before. So we need to use it up. I thought it'd be a quick, easy side for our roasted veggies and salmon. And here is lunch for tomorrow. Johnny's is ready to go. And then there's Libby's. I put a piece of press and seal over her teriyaki sauce so that it does not spill. That's all the cuties. Babe's sleeping. They're being great. I'm not gonna film you. There she is. Woo, girl. I'm not going to have you in the video. <laughs> Get on to see. All right, ready?
storage time. It's bath time and clothes putting away time. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Livy just got tucked into bed. Stella is still snoozing and I'll probably have to feed her in a few minutes when she wakes up. I'm gonna enjoy some snacks and we're gonna watch Rick and Morty. And if you don't know what that is, <laughs> be careful. There's a lot of foul language in it. It's very exciting and the new season just started. So we're gonna watch the first episode. So I hope you guys liked this vlog. I thought it would be fun to vlog today because I vlogged with Olivia, I think for the first time at her one month appointment day. And so I thought I would do the same thing with Stella. So I hope you guys liked it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.